Hello and welcome. Today we have a VOD review on Anubis. Looks like we got a Genji Diamond level. <clears throat> okay, uh, I've never seen this video before, so I'll be commenting in real time. Um, one quick note I want to make is that I usually prefer my videos to be on YouTube. It works much better for me here in China. Um, so with Twitch, I'm going to be really hesitant. I'm probably not going to be going back at all because usually I get like buffering issues. So so for this video, um, I'll just be, you know, I won't be able to go back. So I'm only going to be pausing and going forward, um, which kind of sucks, but um, that's okay. Um, so in the future, please use YouTube. And I think that was my fault because I don't, I think I don't think I told this user to um, put it on YouTube. But okay, no worries. Um, let's look at your comp. Looks like we have a Sombra, Anna, Winston, and you're a Genji. What else do we have here? Understood that conversation. Is that a Zen? Yeah, you got a Zen. And who's your sixth? Another tank, I hope. The one about the Colonel Accelerator. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and Tracer. Okay, so she like is joking around that she's. Got okay, so you had Zen, Anna. Triple DPS with the Sombra Tracer Genji and a Winston. Okay, I, I don't mind this. Um, this is good comp. In China, I'm seeing a ton of triple DPS, like a lot, a lot, a lot of triple DPS. So that's cool. Um, unfortunately, your Anna just died. Okay, so as Genji, I like Genjis to be flanking on the left or right. I think the left side is better because you have that window up here that you can climb through. This one, that like that one you can just climb through over here and they get like behind the point. So that's awesome. That's what I want you to be doing now. So let's see what you do. Dying. But you know, be patient because oh, that that's not the window. That that's okay though because then you can kind of poke from that side. But the window I want you to go through is over here. Is th this one that you can't quite see because of that wall? But anyways, cool. So, but you're gonna have to be a little bit patient. Wait for your Anna to come back to respawn. So again, I want you getting behind the point when Anna's back in position. Then you can start poking and and go looking for kills. Well, you could probably start it a little bit before she's in position. But anyways, yeah, this is good. This is good. Um, but again. See, and now your Sombra's dead. So, nice kill, though. Very good kill. Um, the thing, though, is that... I'm trying to decide if I like this kill or not. Because now it puts you in a bit of a dangerous situation. Like, this McCree, he, it's possible you could have died to his flashbang, a headshot, and maybe something else kills you. Or maybe he kills you after that. So... In general, I, I, I'd like sloppy, I, I, rather I should say, I don't mind sloppy fights on point A's of two CP maps because when you from, from the attacker's perspective, because you have a closer spawn. So a sloppy fight is in your favor. If you can trade three kills for three kills, that, that's, that's positive for you. Um, that being said, you lost Ana, you just lost Sombra, so you were probably better off getting a better deeper flanking position and... Um, and waiting for you know for reinforcements and then looking for kills because those kills are going to be higher value. So again, you you have the attackers at spawn advantage, so this isn't horrible. But I'd like you to be getting a better flanking position. And there's a really good chance you just die here. Um, you're probably gonna have to use a swift strike to like go get to a health pack. But now you're gonna have to be doing this long dance for a while where you're kind of in in danger for the next couple seconds. So we'll see what you do. Oh, yes, no. good, good, good. Okay. He doesn't oh. have flashbang, so he spot. can win that, but you back off, so I like that. I like that you backed off. I would have liked to see you go up into that window where that fatty, that really big, that 250 health pack is, and again, poke from there, because then you could poke from this area, right? Because right now, you're in the middle of your, your opponents. You're like kind of sandwiched, and you're in a really dangerous spot, so you haven't quite gotten out of danger. I think you had an opportunity to get out of danger earlier, again, by going into that room with the health pack, but... Now you're kind of still in danger. Um, that being said, I'm really happy that you respected that McCree. You didn't just try to keep trying to 1v1 him. So, cool. Um, cool, yeah, because you didn't have Swift Strike or or Deflect. So there's a good chance he just head, headshots you and then a body shot and you're dead. Or just two headshots or something. So, cool, I still like what you're doing. Um, you're trying to be a nuisance. Oh, you need that Swift Strike so bad. Okay, cool, you wall climb. Good, good, good. Nice. Since up top. Oh shit, they have three in that corner with the mercy. Winston's you got this, you got this! Nice left click there. Ryan's good. Ryan hard attack. Ryan's low. Nice, nice. Let's clean up now. Okay, so. Nice, just Hanzo on McCree. So, I want to take a moment to talk about about your, your, um, your play. So, it's very obvious that you are a highly skilled player. You have those raw mechanical skills. Um, you know how to brawl. Um, now, now the question is, how, how do you get to the next level? Your diamond. How do you shoot for? I think based on your raw skills alone, you could easily hit masters with absolutely no, 
no more further improvements. Like you could probably just hit masters just based on your raw skill. Uh, you know, assuming you don't like tilt or or anything like that. So now the question is, how do you become even higher level? How do you hit GM? How do you hit top 500? I think you have the ability to do that. Now it's just a matter of refining your skills and thinking about this game in a more strategic way. The style that you're playing, after a while, you're going to notice that it's going to be really hard to, to keep this chaotic style up because soldiers, McCrees are going to kill you faster. Tracers are going to kill you faster. Roadhogs are going to kill you faster. And when you kind of put yourself in these really dangerous situations, you know, it's really good for refining your brawling skills. But in terms of elevating and climbing, you're going to have to approach this game from more, from a more strategic standpoint. So that that's going to be with flanking and getting into better positions and disrupting your opponents more. So really kind of thinking about how can I be the most annoying to my opponents and, and how can I minimize risk when I'm fighting? Like, so... Right now, you're playing a really risky style where, like, you're you're brawling in in between your 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 um your opponents. You're kind of in the middle of them, and you're just kind of like dealing with these things with from all sides. And that's great. It's really good that you practice that kind of stuff. But a smarter Genji player is gonna work, you know, smarter, not harder. He's gonna get a really deep flank, and he's gonna just poke people from the back until until they they're they until you force them in a position where they're where they're screwed. Like you're gonna push them into a ball. And then your team can collapse on them. Um, so, for instance, like I'm a really crappy Genji player. I'm probably, I would say, probably a little bit worse than you in terms of mechanics. But like I could play at a higher level because I'm playing from a more strategic standpoint. So, I think you could very, very easily climb up to GM no problem if if you if you approach this game more strategically. Um, you have the raw the raw skill mechanics. Now you just need to apply some of this game theory, and um, and it, and you'll climb. So. Right now, the biggest problem I have with your gameplay is you're not flanking enough. I want you to get in position, start fights from the from from the back from your opponent's back line, and then move forward. Right now, you're doing the opposite. You're starting at your enemy's front line, and then you're going backwards or towards their back line. There's a sombre watching it. My ultimate is ready. You know, I'm gonna jump on in. <laughs> Whoa, that was that was scary. Okay, so again, we have the oh, you just got a kill. That's nice. Um, I would probably, oh, you need a heal though. So um, on the subject of flanking, uh, again, I'd like you on this side or in this general area, in this hallway, flanking from that side. The right side is okay too, the side that you're on. Um, that that Winston kind of pushed you out of position. So, you know, that was a good play on his part. Don't go down. Winston's hack. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck is going on down I think here? You ate that. Mercy's weak. Mercy's weak. Uh, again, I can't. I, I can't go backwards. Um, so I think you just ate a fire strike and you didn't reflect or deflect rather. So again, I can't quite see because I don't want to go back. I don't want to have buffering issues. But yeah. Must okay. have pulse. I have all my How the hell are we? Coming? I don't know. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> 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 Uh, you guys are like gonna come back in, so fucking around. So like right now, right now you could be flanking on the left or right side. Oh, but you just lost Zenyatta, so you're gonna have to wait for his respawn. Um, but yeah, so I'd like you to start looking for positions where you can start flanking. Oh, right okay. now you're just poking, just and this isn't. Oh, yeah. and... and there goes your tracer. Okay, so just wait, just wait, wait. Be patient, be patient. Don't do anything silly. Just heal up and then get a nice flank. I would say what you're doing right now is very risky. It's possible that their Hanzo just picks you out of the sky with like a. Actually, you're close to this wall. He could pick you off with a scatter arrow. So I don't like what you're doing here. It's a really, it's it's pretty silly. Hanzo. There's there's no there's no point. Like, you you have dragon blade. You're just feeding them ult charge. This is pretty silly. And again, those scatter arrows can kill you. So you need to be really careful. Alright, ready? Yep. Alright. Okay. So your team's communicating. That's good. I'm a little sad that you only have 180 health, but that's okay. Well, it's not okay, but. There's the EMP, EMP, EMP. Winston's on us. Nice. Oh, you missed that. That's okay. It's going to happen sometimes. Oh, actually, you missed. I think you made a pretty big mistake there. You didn't kill that Hanzo. You swift strike. You swift struck away. So, um, that was a pretty big error on your part, actually. Ryan's one, Ryan's one, Ryan's one. Okay. Why didn't we wake up Ryan? Right. Oh, man. Run back. We can, uh, we can hold this. No, that's it. Okay, that's fine. Um, 
So again, I, I can't go back to see what happened, but it looked like you had a free kill because you killed Mercy and then you killed Anna, and I'm pretty sure Hanzo was right next to Anna, and you swift struck away from him. So that was a pretty big error. You could have chained some more kills into that Dragon Blade. Um, damn. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. So a, a pretty big. I, I don't know if I if I would call that a mechanical play because I don't know if you didn't notice him. Or if you just like messed up like your your combo a bit with the swift strike, like maybe you you did it at the wrong angle. It was too high as opposed to being lower. So I'm not sure if that was a decision making error or a mechanical error. Okay. Number front right. Just one. Just out. Nice. Nice. Oh. Yep. Dragon blade. There you go. You can do this. You need heals though. You're All right. Guess we're going. He needs to heal you. There. There. Fuck yeah, we're going. Summer oh. back. Careful though. Push him back. You know what? Actually, right there, you swift struck away. I would have liked to see you deflect his any. Um, well, I'd like you to like jump over him and get onto that Anna. I don't like that you actually ran away. So right now, your positioning. Again, you want to be behind your opponents whenever possible, and I think you had an opportunity to do that either by jumping over that Reinhardt or deflecting his his uh, his swings for like probably just one swing to get behind him and then start working on that Anna. This is this keeps on point. You help. Reinhardt. First he's coming in with Anna. Down. Anna one. Good. Okay, Deflect. Okay. Dead oh. point, guys. Dead point. Okay. All right. Yeah, I would have liked to see. I think that Hanzo was charging up an arrow on you. I feel like he maybe missed. I'm not quite sure what happened, but I would like I would like to see you deflect that arrow. Um, but again, I can't I can't quite um, can't quite see. I don't want to go back and see what happened. So that's okay. Um, cool. Uh, and that fight was was lost regardless. So if you hack mid tracer blink, she doesn't. They move Kree front right. Oh, there's a Sombra. Oh. Is that impossible? Hacking mid point? Like, yeah, I got once. It's very, like, <sighs> she'll try to do it. I'd really like to see you try to flank from that left side room. I think that, you're, you know, that's a really nice flanking spot from Genji because you have the coverage of that wall. And you can poke really nicely from that, from that door. So I'd like to see that more than anything. Yeah, these kind of, these brawly... So... So this kind of reiterates what I was saying earlier, where you're fighting, you're kind of like in the middle of everything. So, yeah, okay. You know what? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have too much more time to work on your VOD. So, um, let me see. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to cut this a little bit short, but I think you you have such potential to climb. So I'd like to see another VOD from you in like a week or two um, or three weeks or, you know, however long. Um, maybe after another like 20 or 20 or so games of competitive games and I'd like to see how you improve. So right now I'm gonna draw you a Map, okay, so so let's say this is like aerial view. Okay, so let's say um, Let's say your opponents are set up like this Let's say there is like one person here somebody here someone here uh, Maybe like someone over here and that's like that's like their core group, and then maybe they have like a flanker over here, and like I don't know. So maybe, maybe there's like a, a roadhog in this area, like a roadhog's here, and let's say like a Genji's here, and then like their core group is is this, right? And then let's say your team is just over here, just somewhere in this general area, and they're kind of spread out. Now the way you like to fight is like when when these you know blobs kind of like collide, you kind of like just are in the middle of it. You're just kind of in this general area. Instead, what I want you to try to do more often, because I haven't seen you do it once, and you know, and and I want to and I want to emphasize that because it's not always the case that you want to be flanking. There are times and opportunities where it's not necessary, or you just shouldn't. Um, but right now, you're not flanking at all, and especially on attack, you have so many opportunities to be flanking. And, and that being said, on defense too, you are especially in solo queue, you have so many opportunities to flank. So, anyways, we have this picture here now. Where I want you is over here in this area. Like I want you, like in this kind of arc, right? Like this is your place to 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 be to be positioning. And then what this is going to allow you to do is. It's gonna allow you to look for picks that you wouldn't normally have had 
if you were on the other side of the map. <coughs> so, for instance, <coughs> excuse me, if you were like a Zenyatta, excuse me, if you were if you were a, if the enemy team had a Zenyatta, he is so easy for you to pick. You start off with like a, a left click from a far distance. You swift strike into him, right click melee, done. And you may, maybe not even that much. That combo could actually be less, probably. So whatever. Anyways, actually, could it be less? Maybe. It depends on if how many headshots you get. But whatever. Anyways, the point is, if you if you take the time to flank and bonus points, if you can do it stealthily by crouching and you know being patient, then you'll find these opportunities. And these these games are going to be so so much easier for you. It, like right now, you're just kind of smashing your head against the wall. Whereas if you do these flanks, you're going to you're going to just really elevate your gameplay. Like these games are going to be so much easier. You're going to be like, wow, why why wasn't I doing this earlier? Um, because I've seen Genji's lower skill than you, but flanking more, and you kind of applying this theory, and you know, and just being a higher uh, higher rank than you because again because of how they're approaching the game in this manner. So, so yeah, so I'm cutting this vod a little bit short, but it's only because I can tell you have raw skill. You don't need any of you know any advice there. Right now, your biggest problem is your is your approaching team fights. You need to approach them from the flanks, from the sides, from behind. Do it quietly. Do it patiently, and this will easily boost you up, no problem. So, so work on these things, and um, you will climb. I promise you. Cool. Um, I hope this video was helpful, and if you liked it, please subscribe. Thank you.